I've been pretty happy with how everything's all worked out for me here. There was more detail, uh, more dimension in the images, whether it be the vocals or the instruments or in movies, uh, things just had a lot more weight to them. And the music just washes over you, very smooth, no gaps. No frequency dropouts. It's just very, very, very clear and very, very full. The soundstage just really went deep into the room. In fact, I think it, it went beyond soundstage. And I, I feel like it's become a, an environment, a sound environment. Uh, we're really enjoying it, spending hours and hours in here. One of the advantages of having uh, all of the acoustic treatment in here, as you'll see, there's a screen behind me. So this is also a movie room and a music room. In fact, it started as a movie room. So I have a seven channel system in here, seven speakers in the room for movies that I've had for about 25 years. That's where I started all the audio stuff. And so it gives me a nice en environment as it relates to all that. But um, what it uh, does for movies now, as I, when I use, use the seven channel versus just the two channel speakers in wood up front, is um, when a plane flies over, before I would hear, you know, the plane fly over, you'd hear the sound kind of move across the room. And so what you're trying to do is keep it from having gaps and, and voids. It's a nice smooth movement. Well, it even got smoother with the sound, but also if, if, if you saw in the image this large helicopter flying over and it's coming from behind you and coming over, that you actually felt the whole helicopter flying over, the little nuances in the sound of the helicopter you, you gave you cues to its size and its mass. Rather than just hearing the sound fly over, you felt the mass of the helicopter or the rocket ship or a gunshot or whatever that might be. You actually could feel that going right by you in a, in a much bigger way or a more solid way. It wasn't just sound, it was actually kind of almost the image of it was flying right there. So that's what's been kind of an excited plus. So the acoustics not only help music, it also helps movies. Yeah, typically with, with um, music uh, and stereo in particular, you, one of the descriptions of the sonic field is soundstage. And soundstage often is just, if you look behind me here, you know, just with, you feel like the music's coming into the room a little bit. So that's what you're looking for ideally, is a deep, deep soundstage that's coming deep into the room. So what I found is when I put the, the acoustic ceilings in, particularly after that, that the soundstage came deep into the room, and I'd say it went beyond the room, because there's actually sounds you start hearing behind you and around you, so it, it goes beyond the soundstage. It's hard to describe it as a soundstage anymore. It's just a musical environment. That's kind of the only way I can describe it. It's, it's no longer just soundstage. You're just, you're swimming in sound. It's really something my wife probably could more elaborate on than anyone, but you do notice, even when we were putting all the pieces in the room, uh, the panels and the sidewalls, the, the room started just to pick up a certain warmth and it felt, it just felt more inviting. You just wanted to be in here because it was like a, putting a blanket around you in some ways. You, know, you get that comfortable feeling. And so when my wife's in here and we're watching a movie, that's when she's usually in here, um, she'll usually fall asleep. And uh, it's just that warm, comfy, feeling that you have. And there's an acoustic part of it too that gives you that sonic comfort. It's just really quiet and, and warm sonically. And so anyone who walks in here immediately picks up on something's different in here. Not just feeling, but it just, it just it gives you that sonic thing in your ears or whatever it is. It just feels very peaceful. And so that's, I think she finds when she falls asleep, she just likes to stay in here afterwards because it just feels that kind of warm blanket sonically all around her. Yeah, yeah, I am. And, and in fact, you know, Dennis said it would look like furniture and have a furniture finish. And in fact, it really does have a furniture finish. So I'm, I've been really pleased with that. Um, 
when he first talked to me, he asked, well, what's most important, your form or function? You know, but the looks or, or the performance? And I said, both. They really want something that's going to be attractive, but also perform uh, really well. And so I've been really ecstatic about how it performed, but I'm also happy with the way it looks. It fits the room. The size of the panels are, are, are custom made to go with the, the different levels of flooring. And uh, the finish matches the finish in the house. Um, so we're, gonna, we're able to make it all come and feel like it's part of the house, not just uh, something different in a room or ugly. And I've seen enough ugly rooms where people put the pieces together and yeah, it sounds okay, but it really looks horrid and it doesn't have very much wife approval. So I find if I think things really look good and sound good, my wife's much more likely to approve and encourage me to continue the search that I'm on. So. Um, I can think of maybe once or twice, maybe. And they were pretty sophisticated settings. One is, is, uh, was a studio actually out in California that was all built around everything around that. And it was pretty impressive in terms of gunshots and stuff like that. But that was probably the only one I've really heard that sounds anything better. But, but with that, the music sounded horrible. It was great for movies, but it wasn't good for, for the music quality. It was very tinny and sharp, and, and it wasn't really give you the warmth that you want to have in music uh, emotionally. So what I find with this, it's the best with everything. You get the dimension and depth of the sound, you get the clarity and the detail, you get the moving images for the movies. So I think in, in the total picture, and the total package of music and movie, I've never heard better. In, in any setting, anywhere. And I've, I've been to conferences in LA, Chicago, I've been to the high-end shops in different parts of the country, and they're, they have some great performing stuff. And so that's always, I've got my reference systems in my mind that said, am I there yet, am I there? And this made me feel like just blew right by it. And I, I'm really happy and I, I feel like I'm kind of on top of the game right here, right now. So I don't think it's gonna be pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I think the clear answer is yes. You know, especially with movie and, and music, it's a it's a twofer. <laughs> you know, yeah, you get all that. Uh, it is expensive. It's it's not cheap, and uh, and we get the look, the quality, the build, the performance, all those things. I, I find are unequal. And I've looked at a lot of different acoustic uh, uh, outfits, and there's some great people out there and great stuff. When you start looking at the measures of the of how it performs by third party independent measuring people, this is the best stuff out there. And then when you get the finish and the custom work uh, to do it, um, if you're you're after all of that, this is the place to go, you know. And I've been really happy with it. I'd recommend it to anyone uh, out there. And I know there's some of my friends in this crazy world of audio that are very jealous right now. Mm -hmm.